Taylini here and I am back with another video and today I am super excited to be sharing another YesStyle haul with you because YesStyle is just simply my favourite place to online shop and then I'm going to be sharing five tips on how to get the best value out of YesStyle. Let's get straight into the haul first, I'm really really excited to dig into it. The first thing that I got was this printed pullover hoodie in Armand, it's a one size hoodie and it cost about $35. It comes in so many different colors and also you can choose to have the hood or have it as just a crew neck. Quality wise, it feels pretty good. It's soft, it's comfortable, it's got a fleece lining on the inside which is really nice as well. Overall, this is a really cool hoodie and I'm really excited to start wearing it. The next item that I got was this grey plaid blazer. It's from the brand Repeat Roses and this was about $46. I just really love the look of this. When I saw it on YesStyle, I've always wanted it and I've always had it saved in my favourites because I think it's just got, got that really classic, almost um, K-fashion chic look. Quality wise, also really good. The lining inside feels good uh, and the material itself is quite sturdy. My third item is this black t-shirt dress and it's got a sash tie at the waist. I am a huge fan of t-shirt dresses because I think they make a perfect casual look and they're just super comfortable to throw on on the weekend when you're feeling really lazy but because it's a dress it kind of still looks really cute. The thing I like about this t-shirt dress is that it does have this like uh, tie at the waist. Having that little apron part at the front means that you can go to brunch or you can go to dinner and you can hide the belly after it's bloated. So I really love this. When I was looking on YesStyle this time round for my haul, I really wanted to get a longer skirt as well. I've really been getting into the look of ankle length or midi skirts because I think that they just make you look really princessy and it's super cute. And so I got this gingham midi A-line skirt. This was actually really cheap. I think it was $17. The material itself is like, you know, there's just one layer of material or fabric. Um, but that's okay because what I really like about this is it has a very nice structure to the skirt itself. So when you put it on, this one actually creates that nice silhouette. And yeah, this is a really cute skirt. And then the last item that I got was this midi A-line patchwork pinafore dress. Again, pinafore dresses are something that I'm really loving. You may have seen recent pictures on my Instagram where I'm wearing shorter pinafore dresses over just a simple t-shirt and I think it's such a cute look. I was really drawn to this one because of the pattern on it. The patchwork pattern looks super, super cute. I think it makes you look a bit like a rag doll. And the thing I like about this one is it is a bit longer as well. So the, all my other pinafore dresses are pretty short. So this just brings something new into the wardrobe. And this dress cost $35. So those were all my clothes, but then I decided to get two accessories as well. I wanted to stock up on more eyewear. I don't have that many sunglasses, I realized. I have like one pair that I got from some outlet in America when I went with my family three years ago. And so I decided to get this pair of like massive oversized black sunglasses. I actually think they look pretty expensive, although these were very cheap. They were like $14 or something like that. I really love the shape of them. I like the kind of the big chunky frame and the fact that they are like pure black the whole way through. And then the last item that I got from YesStyle was another pair of glasses. This one is a pair of blue light glasses. I think these were under $10 actually. And the reason that I got them was because one, I am looking at the screen so much more now that we are working from home and I feel like I'm getting constant headaches just because of like maybe all the blue light. So I decided to get this pair just to try and see if that would help with that. And then the other reason was because I kind of miss wearing glasses a little bit. I used to have pretty bad eyesight until I got LASIK uh, a couple of years ago. You can see a video that I did on that. And then since then, that was like the best thing that has happened to me really because I can see perfectly now and life is just so much easier. But from time to time, I do kind of think about how I would look with a fashionable pair of glasses. So just got this pair. Non-prescription, obviously, but does help with the blue light coming from your screen. So, yeah. 
So that was today's haul from YesStyle and if you like those items make sure you stick on the video because what I'm going to go into next is my five tips for how you get the best things off YesStyle and make sure that you are super super happy with your hauls just like I am with mine today. Alright I'm now jumping onto the YesStyle site so YesStyle.com is where you head and you can see I've gone straight into the clothing and so tip number one of mine is Price actually does matter. I know a lot of people come onto YesStyle and they're like, oh my god, this thing is $16 or this thing is super cheap, it's only $15. But as always, I think you get what you pay for and the more that you are willing to spend, the more likely those items are going to be higher quality when you receive them and so they're probably going to be longer lasting. There is a reason why they are more expensive a lot of the time. I used to come onto YesStyle all the time and I would just like filter for lowest to highest price items and try to find whatever I could that I kind of liked and then I would receive the items and honestly sometimes it is hit or miss and some of these things would be like really thin quality or really cheap and I would just never wear it because it didn't feel good to wear anyways. When I go on YesStyle now, one of the top things that I've seen is you can go into clothing for example and look at featured brands. I actually find when you click on brands from South Korea, a lot of those items are a lot nicer quality and so you can click through these brands and see which of the ones fits your style and obviously the price is going to be a little higher on these. When I often think about spending, one of my friends, Lil, who went to Japan with me, um, gave me one of the best pieces of advice which was that almost think of every dollar that you spend on an item as the equivalent to the number of days that you're going to use that. So if you spend five dollars on an item, only really expect five good days of use out of it and that's when you've made your money back. Whereas those things that you do spend more on, yes they are more expensive, but you should expect to be using them for a very very long time. Alright so that was tip number one. Now tip number two is to do your research. Obviously we just want to go on and we want to buy everything that looks really cute, but I've often heard that, you know, when you look at these clothes and these pictures, the point of it is to make the clothes look like the best that they can ever possibly look on the model. So you need to expect that these are pictures at their best, and now you almost need to set your expectations that sometimes those items come to you and they may not look exactly like those pictures. So what you need to do instead is take the necessary precautions to ensure that you are getting an item that is closest to what you are seeing. And what I tend to do is watch videos like the one I'm making now of hauls or reviews from other YouTubers and then I can kind of pick out items that I like in their video and I will then go into their links and decide whether I want to add that to my favourites or buy the items. Or alternatively if you feel like watching too many YouTube videos is too much work for you, then what you can do is go on YesStyle and sort by items that are most reviewed. And I think this is the perfect way to get things that are safe purchases because when you sort on things, so if you just go down and go to most reviewed items, which is the last filter, what you're going to get are the most or most popular items on YesStyle. And you can see like these items have 4,000 reviews or 3,000 reviews, etc. And so knowing this, you can then look through these items and see what has four and a half to five stars because then that means that on average of that many people that reviewed it there were a huge number who were very satisfied with it so that just gives me an indication like okay if most people like this then that probably means it was a pretty good item but now to go into this and extend your research one step further my tip number three is make sure you do check now those reviews that have been written on this item and so I like to click into the reviews and the number one thing that I like to do here is actually filter by photo reviews because I find them just very, very useful. I can look very closely at these images and kind of decide for myself whether I think the quality is worth it or not. So I'll often look at like these pictures and I'll be like, oh, this looks actually like a really nice item. I like the way that the sleeves are really baggy on the arms. Uh, the yellow one looks really really cute and so I'll scroll down and have a look at all of these and I'll try to make sure I lo I'm looking really closely at like the seams if there's any loose threads or if the 
uh, or if the item looks like it wrinkles really easily or is like really thin fa fabric. I can also check sizing in for these reviews. So people often say like their height and their weight and then I can compare it and see if I need to size up or size down. So tip number four is then to check the materials that are going into these items. And so typically if an item is more expensive, you may check the material and it looks like it has more natural fibers as opposed to synthetic fibers. And so the difference is like if I see an item that is high in like cotton materials or it's made of linen or wool, then in those cases I am way more likely to buy the item as opposed to if I check it and I see it's made of synthetic fibers like acrylic, nylon, polyester is probably the most common one. And with polyester, you just check kind of like the, the percentage of polyester that is in that item. And so you can see here, this is 65% cotton, 35% polyester. I actually have this item, it's pretty good. It's super comfortable, decent quality. And then my last tip, tip number five, is more of a money saving tip, but not necessarily within YesStyle itself or looking for cheap pieces, but I have this add-on called Honey and I am not sponsored by Honey by the way like this is an add-on I just randomly saw one day and I installed it onto Google Chrome and it has been life-saving because what it does is detect all the coupons across the internet for the site that you're on when you go to check out and then it'll automatically try applying all of the available coupons to your cart and apply like the highest discount. So a lot of the time I don't even realize it, but then I end up saving like 10% or 20% and YesStyle always has a ton of discounts anyways. Say I just add this to my bag. And I go to my bag and then you'll see here straight away, Honey has three coupons found that they're gonna test and apply. And I can click apply discounts here. And then it's basically just going to check and like run through those discounts and apply them. Sometimes it comes up with no, say like sometimes it doesn't come up with active codes, which is totally okay as well. In that case, I do have a yes style code. Uh, use Linny10, no, I think it's Linny123. All right, so my code is Linny, L-I-N-N-Y, one, two, three and that should give you 10% off your order. So in the case where, like we saw, Honey doesn't work and it doesn't find you an active code, feel free to use mine if you're now feeling inspired to shop on YesStyle and pick up yourself some really cute high quality items. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you found it really useful. I hope you enjoyed my haul as well. That was really exciting for me to share. And let me know if you apply these tips or find them useful or if you have any more hacks of your own. And as usual, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And I will then see you next time. Bye. Smiling every day with Hey Linny.